what is up youtube it's max production back again um so um there's been a comment um on my on on the youtube um uh, somebody commented that we we do a mixing of a beat how to mix and master a beat because um they don't understand how to do it and also uh, the reverb and all those stuff what is this reverb for i'm going to explain everything right i'm going to explain everything and then um, guys if you know where to sell beats just um tell me also i've got beats if you're interested you love the sound that i'm producing here man just hit me up i'll drop my email and um my number as well so don't be shy yeah or tell those who are looking for beats that i've got someone called max production and um yeah let's let's do it so in this tutorial i already have a beat that i made and i didn't master it so i'm going to we did a tutorial on this you know long time ago but we didn't master because i don't personally speaking i don't master my beats because i feel like all the sound that i choose they're always correct unless i have to eq them so i'm going to show you what i do I, i'm not saying that this is what all producers do no this is what i do ne? so let's get into it so i've got my drum here the first step of this i never master my drum because the drum is the drum is not something that you master the drum obviously when you download a drum kit ne? when you download the drum kit the drum kit is already going to have good sound because the person who produced it produced uh the person who made the drum kit understands sound so mastering the drum kit is a waste of time maybe if you want to add reverb then they yeah so let's finish this so now i've got the first pa part of business is the pad so i'm using this pad and you're going to see that it sounds good but if you're a producer you'll be able to tell that it doesn't sound really good <laughs> you see so what i will do is that i'll send it to the mixer all right this is the mixer i sent it to and then i'm going to first step is use a paramedic eq right you can use um 20 and that's one to cut or you can just do it manually just drop this one down that's one down like this and then cut the highs a bit <laughs> So cut the loose just small leave just this small space for it yeah now listen you see the difference? it sounds good right with the thing on and then after what you can do is just drop a little bit of reverb onto it so this is the part of the reverb and to explain the reverb now what happens for me to explain the reverb i have to get a melody i'm going to show you the melody with a pad you won't really hear anything unless because the highs is the one that leaves that sound so you can take them out and then increase the low you know then the next step we have is the bass line want your bass line to sound good there was this someone on my channel suggested that if you add the reverb to your bass line it will sound good and this is what we did with this bass line we added a reverb let's go to it you see we only added a reverb and then we boosted because we want the bass to sound hard and if you know this bass from muffin it really doesn't have um you know this bass doesn't have a lot of bass into it so we increase boost that or you could have gone to paradigmatic eq you could have gone to paradigmatic eq and just boost it here a bit you know just boost oh yeah the sub and yeah you see sounds good sort of done the same job but i just chose to go down here and increase just small and then for the reverb i did nothing the same thing i didn't touch all these knobs i just left it like that man but if i wanted to add it to be like in a bigger room i could have increased the decay now the more you increase the decay the more re vibey or wet it becomes so i'm going to drop it down yeah dropping it down a bit just like that so this knob here is very powerful you know even the bass look yeah so it's powerful this knob here if you increase this knob here and the dry these two one two when you focus on this thing you focus one two three these are important even the size the size is not really important because it just determines how long it's going to the reverb is going to last on the 
on the preset or whatever you are doing ne? that's what the size is and the more just assisted you know assisted a bit but nothing real and then yeah and the speed is at how long it's going to play you know how long must it come in and how long it should leave so this is really not important so let's just continue with that add a bit of that uh, the more i'm just going to leave it like that the size i want it to be long yeah <laughs> I feel like uh, it's too watery, just a bit, yeah. yeah. Then it sounds good. Then the next step you are going to do now, right, is that you are going to put this. This is now the melody, ne? I'm not going to show people how I made the melody. This tutorial is how to master. So this is the, this is the melody. <laughs> All right, so yeah, someone is asking, how did I get that effect? I think I mastered this. No, I didn't. Okay, so there's a step to master this, right? This is how it sounds like. If you hear it, like there's there's those uh there's, there's those delays those are playing there, ne? So let's send it to the mixer and see what we can do about it. But me, I'm personally saying, guys, I don't really master my stuff because like my sound always sounds good. Those of you who've been on my channel, you know what I'm talking about. I you have never seen me master my stuff. I only the only mastering I do is use EQ to check out the lows and the highs just to make it sit. But you see with this melody, here's the trick. You can make this melody have space in a song. If you are you have chose a melody that is rough, right? And for example, you EQ it but it's still not going in. Number one, drop the velocity drop the the mixer down. Drop it to about fifty percent. Now listen. You see it's sitting in and then just drop it twenty five percent to the right. You see look here you must look here when i'm talking 25 percent to the right yeah 26 also and then separation stereo this is like this one opens the space it allows it to play in in it, i don't know how to explain this but it sounds good it has space in the in the beat right so now let's play if it's low just keep increasing up until it will sound good Sounds good. And then next thing I heard was this. So I think I'm gonna put this up a bit. There's really not. I think I did add this. I think I mixed and mastered this. Yeah, I did because. No, I didn't. All right. Right, so let's say we want it because I that this bass is irritating me. This this bass here, bass here is irritating me. I just want the mid, yeah, like that. You see, so guys, I'm not going to lie to you that um when you master when you mix and master your beat that it's going to be easy like the one I'm doing it now what you have to do is practice how to cut the lows and the highs know what sounds good and what doesn't sound good once you understand those theories that the, the basic theory of mastering beats is using a paramedic eq this is the best tool that you can use when you're mastering your beats because the eq is the one that allows the song to be leveled the melodies and everything to be leveled so what i would suggest to you what i i'll make sure that you need to do is know how to how to cut the lows and the highs and you know what is the mid which one sounds good and which one doesn't sound good like you know here this is the sub this is the bass this is the low mid these three knobs go together and then one two three four these four also go together so you need to know which one to cut out but normally we don't really play with the low mid and the high mid we just play with the tribe and this one two it's always two one two one two yeah so keep that in mind and then yeah let's move on what else um yeah the reverb now let's because we have this melody like it's sounding dry now we are going to add reverb onto it right and i'm going to show you what i do when i'm adding i'm going to increase the decay maybe to three seconds 3.1 seconds and i'm going to increase the high then i'm going to drop the low a bit because i don't want it to yes that's the way and then i'm going to increase um i'm going to drop and then 
and then i'm going to drop on a chorus and then with the chorus i don't really touch anything i just play with this knob here the mix level and i drop it to about mm, 45 percent like that yeah let's say for example it was not having a delay right and you wanted to add a delay so what you could have done is come to for the delay to uh increase it here just put it on four time time must be four ratio four to zero zero ne? and then you drop the volume a bit then it will sound something like this it's not sounding what like i just increase the volume there yeah and that's it and then that's how you do that's how you play with the reverb and stuff and then let's continue with the next thing that we had it's echo drop and then with the echo drop yes i want to talk about this echo drop is very important guys you have heard this play in your many pianos have used this but if it's not mastered it sounds rubbish sorry to say this word but it sounds trash listen now to sound <laughs> you see it sounds rubbish but with the proper mixing and mastering listen nice now let me show you how it's done eh? let me just go to another thing let me show you. so this is the first step you do let me switch this one off first step like i said take out the highs because you see here yeah, the highs are these highs you see this tribe here on the highs this place is here it's making it not sound good but look when i put them down like this i'm just going to leave the mid like i said it's always one two it's either you remove this one here like this or it's either you you remove that one here ne? so you're going to take out that one you see it sounds good but what you need to keep in mind there's already a bass line playing it's either it's, it's either it's your bass or the log drum playing so you don't want it to have a bass you need you see the sub or the bass so you remove the bass and you just keep a little bit of low mid a little bit of it and then yeah you increase here like that and then with the reverb i did nothing i just took it like it was the reverb what i did is just reduce the breath i didn't touch this i didn't do nothing a at most times don't just touch everything here guys because it's going to complicate you just drop the weight down unless you want to increase the decay yeah, then now right good business listen to this it's sounding good together and it's different melodies playing at the same time and it sounds good so there was this melody that made me angry <laughs> this one but i did master it that's when i had to master it the reason being is that listen to this let me put this off do you hear that do you hear that yeah it right so that was pissing me off you know have you ever started making a beat and then you like the sound but the sound that <laughs> it's producing with other stuff you know we could have done this you know let me show you on on nexus if you have nexus ne? you could have um dropped the the reverb you could have switched the reverb off and it would have sound good <laughs> but i love the reverb that was here i love it so what i had to do is use eq guys this is the secret i used eq like i said i want this sh those sh sounds sh that are always here on tribal so you remove them you remove them even this one's supposed to be off remove them like this and then yeah i remove them and then like i said i don't want it to be fighting with my baseline so i take out this one like this all right now it sounds good you don't hear that shh anymore but if i if i increase this yeah yes now let's play so that's that and then um i'm now going to show you what i do the log drum i've been explaining it i'm not going to touch the log drum so let's just go now and master the whole beat now <laughs>
Okay, so personally speaking, I don't master my beat because um, and I even forgot on this, you know, I forgot that I need to add a fruity clip, but that's why the bass line was not sounding nice. So m- the only thing I do here, ne? let me just control and yeah, let me just show you. You see, the only thing I do here, ne? what I do here on the mas- on the master is that I just put a soft clipper, right? I just put a soft clipper because I've already mixed and ma- I've already mixed my stuff so when i put a soft clipper here what i'm doing here let me explain to you those who are trying to be fancy no offense guys if you're trying to be fancy let me just explain to you the reason why i put a fruity soft clipper here ne, is because is because it makes even if i play this it will never go above zero never and that means that even if someone wants to record on your beat they'll be able to record because they have space you see these other parts here left here this is over zero that's the vocals part you know that's where the vocals needs to play so if it excels that it is not going to sound good when it's played on the speaker or anything else but if you are trying to be fancy i know what you can do you could go to maximas right you go to maximas and then what you do is you are going to say you are going to clean master or you can use master aid so let's use clean master and when you're using clean master i suggest you drop your volume a bit down because it's going to make everything loud then what you're going to do is um there's a trick you know you can you must measure you see this you see that you 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 click something like this and then you measure it to stay there like that and then you can play with the lows how you want your lows to sound you can do that guys but i'm not going to do it i don't do that then, then you, you you could do it like that and then the mid also you check with the mid is playing and the highs as well you check you're just doing the same thing like that and then you could play with the print to drop it down <laughs> do that but i don't i don't i don't want you to do it like this just drop the fruity the fruity soft clipper because that's the only thing you need to do you don't need to master the beat guys you don't need to go fancy no you've already done it here that's already enough so guys i'm out like i said guys um please share share this channel share the link uh tell others who don't know about me guys yeah you know it really helps me out like this video you know some of my videos you guys have not been liking them and it hurts my feelings and um also guys if you know where i can post my beats and get paid you know guys i really want to get paid man you know you can't just be having silent and not do nothing with it i know you guys you understand so yeah if anyone is looking for a beat point them to mix production i make all kind of beats i make drill beat uk drill beat any kind any afro beats i make all kind of beat guys so yeah support me support me and yeah man don't be greedy max production out